You'll need a couple of basic tools, razor blade, a Phillips head screwdriver, a long flat head screwdriver, and a pair of scissors. We're going to take the outside cover off. This is eight screws, Phillips heads. Just going to screw them real quick. We'll put the screws aside and pull off the cover. This is just a quick diagram of the cord and the pulley. Now what the purple lines are is the cord. It's going down to the pulley or the spool. And it's about 15 wraps on that uh, on the spool. The brown line is just a bungee cord that goes up inside the machine itself and attaches onto the spool. Normally it's one to two wraps and that's colored in brown. I'm going to take a long handled screwdriver and I'm going to just pop the end of that handle off. I'm going to take a razor, I'm going to cut, there's a knot in there, I'm just going to cut that off. Be very careful not to cut yourself. Throw that in the trash. I'm take the new one, loop it through the bottom, there's a little red dot normally right there. Pull it through, we try to line that red dot up at the end, but it's not that important. You loop that around twice, back through. I'm going to cinch it down, give a nice good pull. You're going to take the handle, slide the bottom end down, slide it back to the, the cord, and you're going to pop the bottom in. It only goes in one way, there's two holes, try to line that up, and turn that around. And just give it a good press. Boom. Uh, we're just going to take out the old cord. It can be a little difficult sometimes. You can cut it out or just pull it off that spool. There's going to be a wrap in the end. And just beware. That's the way we're going to put it back in. Just want to take a look at that. Always take some pictures if you have the ability to. This one's all jammed up inside on the axle. A little bit harder to get out. There we go. You can just grab that pair of scissors or you can continue to pull it out. The most difficult spot is going to be that knot right there. Sometimes you might need a little screwdriver to push that out too and get rid of the old cord. This is the handle that we put on the cord already. We're going to run it up to the top pulley. And pull it down. Go down. There's two ways to go in. One side's going to be for the left side, one side's going to be for the right. I'm going to slide it through the little access hole in the top. And a little pulley underneath that it guides it from the spool. Just pull that down. And take. I'm going to double knot this also, wrap it around once, one more time, slip it back through, I'm going to pull that knot pretty tight, I don't want too much ac excess on the end, and that's going to go inside the spool. Alright, we're going to roll this back on the spool, it's a little important the way we go here, there's two ways, one can go inside, and outside. This is the correct way so when the cord rolls back on the spool it's going to guide itself. So what we're doing here is we're going to roll up the bungee. It can be a little bit difficult. There's a couple ways to do this. This is kind of the easiest way. So we want to put that in that little slot. I'm going to squish it down in between the spools. You want to catch that little guide. We'll keep in tension on the pulley with the bungees. We'll slip the other side inside that little guide there. You want to pull it. You want to let it retract. Make sure it walks on there nice. Uh, this is the spool outside of the machine itself, just to give you a good visual. 
So there's an incorrect way and a correct way. So this, if it was going to spool to the right, would be incorrect. So if it was to start walking up on the spool, it, it, it needs a guide. It's going to follow itself. And this is, would be incorrect. Spooling to the right. We're going to make sure that, so we're going to reverse this. In order for it to walk to the right. cords they're nice side by side this is the correct way this is just showing after the, the cords in the spool and we're releasing the tension on the bungee Those are hanging down at all. We can put more tension on it by taking the bungee cord off, rolling it through the spool, put two wraps on there, and we're going to put it back into that slot. So if the end, if the handle is hanging down, there's not enough tension, we can adjust it with the bungee cord. And we want to tuck that inside the spool so it's not hitting anything. If that's not tucked in, you might hear a clicking noise. We can just test this. Give it a good pull. Everything's tracking nicely. Good tension on there. if you hear a clicking noise sometimes it's that cord hitting so we just want to tuck it inside the pulley we can put a little more tension on that pulley also you can tie it up put it on the knot in there pull it down tighter there's two one for the left and one for the right 